obviously, uh, Baker being out presented some opportunities for some of the other young linebackers, including yourself, because you're technically still a young man, yeah. uh, to get more playing time. How do you feel like you did uh, getting that exposure and that opportunity? Uh, I mean, any opportunity I get, I'm going to go hard with it. Whether somebody's in or somebody's out, when you get that opportunity, you got to make the most of it. Even if I'm getting every single snap, I shouldn't take plays all just because, oh, I'm the labeled starter, so I know I'm going to get every snap. Nah, you need to play every, every snap like it could be your last. What do you see as the mood of the team heading into this game? To win? Uh, I feel like. The mood of the team. Uh, I think we still got good spirits. We still got good energy. I mean, we don't come in moping that we, you know, we've been losing every week, whatever. But I mean, every week is a new week. So, and you know, I respect our coaches the way they set up our weeks. Like, it's hard to think about the past because we we're always so quick to move forward. So, um, our mood is, you know, we gonna go in there, or they gonna come over here and we gonna win. Do you, ever, yep, sorry, Omar. do you ever have moments when like, of introspection and you're like wondering how this team that came into the season with such high expectations has gotten to where it is now? Uh, nah, not really. You know, you just – everybody just got to look at themselves. Like our record is, what, 1-6, 1-7, something like that. What have I done since the season started to help my team? You know, what reps was I skipping in the weight room? Should I have been watching an extra hour of film? And, you know, now we got time to correct all those things. So all of our wrongs that we had in the first half of the season, it's time for us to correct them now. With you, you've been here for 2019, so you experienced that start, that slow mm -hmm. start. What lessons do you take from that start that can be applied to this start? Well, that start, that start was rough. Because, I, I mean, that was my first year in the league, so I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. You know, it was a new coaching staff. A lot of new players, so I really – that year was kind of a rush to me, a blur. But then going into 2020, uh, that's really when I uh, figured out, like, how the flow of the NFL is and things like that. And uh, so it was really hard to compare this year to my first year because I was really just rattled at the brain. I'm not even going to lie to you. With, with Tyrod Taylor, in terms of his scrambling ability, I'm, I'm assuming that puts a lot of pressure on you linebackers because y'all are the ones that got to chase him down when he, when he escapes the pocket. What's the toughest challenge for that, about that? Uh, it's a team thing. Like, I know from the outside looking in, you'll look and be like, oh, this linebacker's going to spy Tyrod. It's a whole team thing. It's, it takes a – it's going to take a village to stop him, you know. Like, Tyrod's a great player. Mills, he's a good player too, but uh, it's not just one man, you know, Bate versus Tyrod or Sam versus Tyrod. Like, it's a whole team thing. So we just got to, you know, try to contain them and, and do our best to keep them in the pocket.